right now I'm working at Trader Joe's. Okay. What yeah. are you doing at Trader Joe's? Uh, just like Trader Joe. That's what we call this guy. <laughs> He's sold out this country. Oh my God! Wow! Oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, what are you guys? <laughs> This is an unbelievable moment. <laughs> got you out of being arrested. I got you, you did. Tony, I, I don't even know if I can roast him anymore. He saved me from a night in jail, bro. I didn't want to go to jail. That's true. Yeah. And it, to be a true hero, I had the night in jail in his place, <laughs> and I dropped the soap as often as I could. Um, Let's go to a clip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting for Trump. Y'all know who I'm voting for. It, it's not a secret. All right. Yeah. Puke. Not you, <laughs> Sleepy Joe. <laughs> That's coming from a diabetic that sleeps 14 hours a day. <laughs> hey, you should, you should vote for me. I, I stood for BLM. Black, large motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> President Trump, what do you say when you're about to come? I'm gonna come, I say, hold on, watch out, because there's gonna be a lot of it. And uh, <laughs> if there was ever a nasty woman like you underneath it, I'd say, move, get out of the way. <laughs> there's a lot of cum headed your way, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, here's my impression of you getting ready to come, ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Hey, have you seen Jurassic Park 3? <laughs> yeah, the one with Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, the second. <laughs> <laughs> President Biden, what do you say when you're about to come? He says, Hi, I'm Dr. Phil. See me on the road. <laughs> Uh, last hookup you had, where was that? How long ago was that? Uh, fucking Connecticut. Wow. It was like a. <laughs> Five months ago or something. How long? So you got pussy five months ago? <laughs> you could say that. For yeah. a guy who collects bugs, frankly, that's not bad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sad woman in Connecticut <laughs> fucked the bug guy. <laughs> and now she's watching this right now. She's at home going, I fucked that guy, and he <laughs> collects bugs in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make the bugs watch when you fuck her? I do. <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. I have. I, it's, it's better that way. Yeah. Did you hear that, Red Band? What do the Japanese call the Chinese as a racial slur? Fucking short Chinese. <laughs> hey, hey. You want a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a punch sound effect, Red Band. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> take, take that. You're, you're right, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What'd you stick your dick in a bucket of Mountain Dew? Listen to this guy, listen to this guy. Joe, you could do nothing to me. <laughs> I would hurt you severely, and everyone here knows it. I would beat Joe's ass <laughs> so badly, frankly. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, hit me right, man. Seventeen. And how long? Wow, Jesus. That's a great age. <laughs> For getting your high school diploma. You can do it if you want to do it. Or for showering with your dad <laughs> the way his daughter did. Look it up. You're going to be very, very surprised that this guy, this man, showered with his daughter. Do you believe this? Till she was 13. I love my family. <laughs> They're both gay. <laughs> I mean, see how they handle that. I think it is actually important to see how the candidates handle that type of pressure.
of debating with Trump, dude, because so far none of them have been able to handle it. He literally, every debate, he just bullied whoever was up there. The only one who did pretty good in the debates against him was Biden, just because he had no fucking idea what was being said. <laughs> Which actually helped him, that worked out for him. Because Trump's whole thing is he tries to get in the other guy's head, dude. You can't get in Joe's head. <laughs> Joe's not in there, good luck, dude. Biden, Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. He's literally perfect. He can't beat him. Because Trump's whole, Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit talking contest where he will win. He will win at that. He can't get Biden. He tries. Every, every debate he's trying so hard and Biden's just. <laughs> That's it, he tries. He just, you're a loser. Your son did crack. And Biden's just, what? <laughs> Right, damn, dude, that's actually a pretty good comeback. You might win this thing. Now, this retarded boy's cock, how big was it, would you say? Good question, good question. Not that big, fold it in half. <laughs> so this retarded boy, you had a black cock, how did this happen? How could this happen here? <laughs> say again. How? <laughs> Is it possible that a retarded boy had a giant black cock and you saw it? You know, that's a really good question. I, I didn't really think about it that hard. I just saw it and I don't think I'll ever forget it, unfortunately. Well, you're not gonna because he's here tonight. Let's bring him out. <laughs> I think uh, Trump is the most Kim Jong-un type of, type of guy that I could vote for. Oh. I respect him in my Korean soul. <laughs> is that where you are? I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm Korean. All right. South Korean. Thank you for- Gross. <laughs> your chin and your neck are one. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of women like that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Being this sexual. is what's happening in this country. The men now are going back to soft core. Can you believe this? <laughs> soft core porn. Can you believe this? Well, it's better. It's better. Four years ago, around. we were into tranny porn. We were doing- <laughs> The men in this are. country were being men. We watched gay porn. We had gay sex. <laughs> we had gay sex. And now... ...are watching <laughs> softcore porn. <laughs> now we've got a fat epidemic in this country. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Can, can you believe Trump, it? When I was in... <laughs> hey, that has got rights. <laughs> he can watch whatever he wants. Hand job, soft job, <laughs> in the car job, in a hot air balloon job. I love tranny porn. What do you love about it, Mr. President? What exactly is it about tranny porn that you like so much? I, I don't know all of it. Joe, I'll help you out here. It's one of the guys that they both have tits. <laughs> That's what it is. There's some for everybody. Now there's four tits. Before there were only two tits, now we've got four. You get penises and tits in the same boat. My favorite thing about Biden is any anytime Biden finishes a speech, he transforms into a Roomba. Just... Okay. <laughs> the Trump speeches. Trump gave what I think was probably one of the greatest speeches of world leaders given. You know, it's got to be up there with like Churchill, <laughs> Gettysburg Address. <laughs> anyway, for real though, it was my favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night, it was the night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. Trump comes out of the Situation Room at like midnight in the White House, and he walks down that fucking tunnel. Like he's, and gives a press conference, like he's giving a post-game NBA, <laughs> just killed a guy press conference. He walks up in front of the entire world at midnight and just goes, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. And <laughs> That's all him, dude. <laughs> I didn't change one word of that. That's what he opened with. And then he did 40 minutes. The speech is 40 minutes for no reason. It wasn't a prepared speech. He freestyled 40 straight. Not even a speech, just mean shit talk for 40. The meanest shit talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. We could hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. Abu. Let me tell you something. Abu cried. He cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Cry baby back daddy, that's what we were all calling. <laughs>
I've uh, unfortunately deal with a lot of racism. And one of the things that pissed me off about racism was um, how black people get compared to monkeys all the time. I think it's horrible. I think it's bullshit. I think they're more like dogs. <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. Uh, and, not, and not in every way, not in every way. Um, uh, for instance, you know, if you get a bunch of, if you get a bunch of them together, um, the dogs won't try killing each other. Uh, you can't count on a black man for emotional support. <laughs> but in ways that they're alike, um, you can't understand them when they're trying to talk. <laughs> uh, the female ones are bitches. <laughs> And it really sucks when you have to hit one. It's horrible. <laughs> what a great set. What an amazing... Absolutely perfect. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? It must be 20, 30 years at this point. That First was time. some of the finest stand-up I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my God. Can you do that whole set again in Spanish? <laughs> You know, for a first timer, he took massive risks. Um, I mean, I was looking at. Hopefully, hopefully, he understood the risk and wasn't being totally honest. <laughs> this might be the first episode where I literally pass out in the middle of the show. So the blood rushing to my head. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I should be in bed right now with a melatonin and a book. Pleads the fifth. <laughs> President Trump, what do you think about America? I also plead the fifth <laughs> a lot. And what a witch hunt. Why are they attacking you? I'm brown. <laughs> you look like the security guard for the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Damn. So now you own a tattoo shop. Is there anything you miss about Tacoma? They're Washington? coming up through the sewers as well. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just love, I love, I love thinking about Trump in the Situation Room, watching a live military operation. He's the only dude in the room that wasn't military. He must have been the only dude watching it that was like, oh! Like, <laughs> you could tell he's never seen it before by the fucking speech. The speech sounded like a guy just trying to tell you some shit he saw. Just, a lot of guys would knock on the front door, not these guys, not our guys. <laughs> Not our guys. Our guys went through the wall. They blew up his wall. <laughs> and they used dogs. Beautiful dogs. <laughs> Beautiful dogs is the funniest detail. Because it's true. They actually did use... It was the Army Rangers, and they used dogs because they were afraid Al Baghdadi was going to be wearing a suicide vest, so they killed him with dogs and a robot. <laughs> and then made fun of him for crying. <laughs> Let that guy cry. That's the scariest death I've ever heard of. That dude was laying in his bed in the middle of the night. His wall exploded. Fucking ten dogs and a robot broke into his... Dude, ten dogs wearing helmets and goggles broke into his house. The Paw Patrol, the actual Paw Patrol broke into... Why do you look like that? <laughs> Are you one of the kids from the Nickelodeon documentary? <laughs> and you're going to get yeah, charged true. with... Tax evasion. Donald Trump, can you pardon me? Did he lock me up? No. <laughs> all at all. Get a haircut. Get a job. Believe in yourself. Learn the trumpet. What do you think about uh, young Drew Nickens here? I thought he did a great job. I thought everybody in this room was totally captivated. And <laughs> everyone understood exactly what he was saying. And he didn't scare anyone. No one was scared, and everyone knew exactly what you were saying. I think you're a great American. He loves you. Drew, are you voting for Trump in November? I voted for RFK Jr. I thought his set was absolutely terrible. What a complete mess that set was. What an embarrassment, truly. Everyone was scared. No one understood him. He, frankly, came off worse than anyone yet, including the racist Mexican OT. <laughs> 
Oh shit. Did you just challenge Joe Biden to a dance off? Oh my god, that sounds crazy. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh shit, it's shooting. It's shooting. Wow. Tony, how many more retarded guys do you have back? <laughs> Anything can happen. This crowd is hungry for more retarded guys. And <laughs> frankly, I don't think we've seen enough retarded guys. How about a retarded racist? Would you like to see that? We this next person bucket. could be one. I pulled it out of the bucket. It is the Kill Tony debut, I do believe, of Jacob Barr, everybody. Jacob Barr. Oh, Thank my you. God. Thank Holy you. shit. Thank you. Well, well, Thank well. You. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. <laughs> Uh, what did you, what did you say about your asshole being broken or something? Oh yeah, yeah. So I was I was born without an asshole. I have Crohn's, so I got a lot of shit and stuff. <laughs> so wait, you were born without an asshole? Did they make you one? Yeah, Where does it, the, they made you one? Yeah, yeah. They used a surgical hole punch. <laughs> yeah, one of those. Right. Under under my administration, Tony. <laughs> I'll make all of you come. Every one of you. You're he coming. Is, You're the... coming. You're all coming. He is threatening to make everyone in the audience come. You want to be my vice president? <laughs> Getting that jacket on is a true feat. Speaking of feet, I do not want to see yours, Jacob. No. I wanted to show you guys my fucked up thumb. I got a, I got a dislocated thumb, if you want to Oh, touch your it. thumb? Hell yeah. You want to touch it? It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'd oh, love yeah. to get uh, my hands on that thumb. <laughs> Oh my god, what? It doesn't even can, do any. Yeah, you can feel the bone. You can literally pick the bone. Oh, oh god, no! That's, oh fuck, I'm gonna fucking throw up. That's what my girlfriend deals with yeah. a lot of the time, and she makes do. She gives it head. She tries. <laughs> she tries her best. She sucks that. <laughs> And then it gets slightly hard, and I say, I'm ready, and I put it in there, and turns out I wasn't ready. I'm not hard. <laughs> and guess what? If you vote for me this November, you'll be able to put that thumb in your very own pussy butt. You count on it.